Howdy everybody, it's Renzoku here. Well, I'm going to give you guys a little different experience this time than what I normally do. Usually I take y'all down over the hillside down there and cross the creek or climb the little hill that I got down here. Uh, there's not really much to do out here. Whenever I find places, you know, I'm going to take my camera with me and my truck. So, I found this little place out behind here. It's got a little bit of rock pile going on. So, I'm going to take these guys out with the SCX-10. Do a little bit of rock crawling. If I can even get into it. Because the last time I saw it, it was starting to get overgrown. Uh, we got a little bit of stormy weather coming. So, I hope you guys are going to be able to see me with the dark camera. Well, I mean, with the dark light that's out here. Well, let's get moving before the storm comes. There she is. She's a bit muddy from my last run when I crossed the creek. I'm going to take her and service her soon. Clean up all the freaking mud and oil and grease everything again. There's Smokey again. That kitty's always in my way. Oh, we got a tire off. Watch it go. Uh oh, we rolled it. <laughs> Me and my trigger finger. <laughs> oh, I wasn't letting you see. Sorry. I gotta start watching the camera more. I'm still new to this. Here comes the Towser. Here comes that rain. We're gonna have to hurry this up.
That tall grass is the number one killer of my truck. I'm always rolling it over in the tall grass. Since I put that lift on it, it's even worse than it usually is. I don't care. The lift allows me to be able to crawl over uh, bigger rocks and stuff. I've already put it to the test once. Yeah, as I said, it's a little overgrown back here. I'm surprised my camera's actually picking this up. Uh oh, I seem to have picked up a twig. There we go. That, my friends, is my play area. I'll drive the truck up through here. All right, let's get comfy, guys. That's not a good spot to be in. We're going to need a hand of God here. I'm not breaking my truck again. Ugh. I haven't crawled up here through a few weeks, man, so looks like it's a disarray. I did have a nice little path going, but... That seems to have washed away with the heavy rain we've been having lately. <clears throat> See, I gotta get some... I got, <coughs> I got the <clears throat> lower links coming in for that. Problem I'm having right now is, is my lower link in the back keeps twisting. That's just freaking grand. Yeah, I might have to lower my suspension a little bit more, guys. I gotta get that fucking lower link. That's all there is to it. This sucks. And now I got the freaking left road, or left rear road trapped. This is such a challenging spot to crawl. I'm gonna have to fix everything here. This crawled so much better before. I ain't happy, guys, at all. I might have to take this lift off, period. Put it back to the stock suspension. Then again, I think it's just those rocks down there was just putting everything on a bind. Oh man, sucky video Tim, sucky video. Renzoku, you need to learn how to drive. Yeah, I know. Shut up. My whole path is messed up. Man, I'm going to have to redo this, guys. Yeah, so much for your paint job, too. Anyway, basically, I'm supposed to climb up over here like so. Yeah, it's not going to do it, guys. I'm going to have to come back here and rearrange my rock pile. Because it's supposed to be climbing over all this shit right now. And it just doesn't want to go. And it did its stalk, too. That's the bad part. I 
I'd have it climb up and over and around. Now it's going to roll. All these damn freaking... I don't know if this is poison ivy or if it's just ivy or what the hell is going on here, but it's all going to have to go. I'm going to have to come up here with the weed eater and then I'm going to have to rearrange the rock pile. That's all there is to it. Something's wrong with my truck. Uh, guys, I don't know. I give up. Oh, great. We broke something. Let me guess, I lost the screw. No, the fucking bearings popped out again. You know what? NTG makes a freaking aftermarket part for the SCX-10. You see this, people? Don't buy it. The problem with it is, is the freaking... I don't know, I'm just going to have to call these freaking folks and, you know, tell them that I'm having problems with their part. They need to send me a new one. Because this is bullcrap. I just bought these and the bearings would refuse to stay in. I've even tried to Gorilla Glue them in. And that didn't work. So I don't know. It looks like my truck's out of commission again. Damn it. Ugh. And I didn't even freaking do anything hardcore. This sucks. Later.